So we want to actually talk about um, transverse waves. Now, um, here, we, when we define a transverse wave, we actually define it like this. So a transverse wave is a wave where the vibration is perpendicular to the wave motion. And here's what I mean by that. What I mean is that we'll have, um, suppose this is a rope, we'll have a pulse that goes like this, and it moves down the rope in the following fashion. So the pulse moves this way, but if you actually look at the rope particles, the rope itself moves up and then back down, but the hump moves to the right. So this is the way the wave moves, and this up and down is the way the vibration moves. And we're going to review that a little bit more closely. Um, another way to see it is when we have the slinky um, that I showed you before. You see the slinky part will just kind of go like this, and it moves like that. Okay. Now, the next thing is we have a longitudinal wave, and we'll go ahead and actually draw that below. So the way a longitudinal wave works, we're going to have that the vibration is parallel or in the same direction as the wave motion. So the way that's going to work, um, and I'll actually draw it with like a bunch step compressed spring. So we've got a spring that's compressed like this, and then there's like a little pulse that bunches up here. And I'm actually going to include a video in the next practice test that explains this just a little bit better, but this is how we're going to draw it. By the way, I'm not going to necessarily test you on this, but examples of transverse waves um, are going to include um, are going to include um, E and M waves, um, certain kinds of water waves, stuff like that. Um, and then for longitudinal waves, like a good example are sound waves. Okay. So um, here, let's do a quick calculation. We have a, wa a wave that has a wavelength of 2 meters, and its frequency is 5 hertz. So the speed is equal to lambda times f. That's going to be 2 times the 5 hertz, because this is lambda, and this is f. And the result is that we get a speed of 10 meters per second. Now, for these two waves here, the way you actually calculate what they're going to look like when they meet in the middle is, so they each have, if you actually check this out, um, they have the same width. You can actually check that out. See, like, they're exactly as wide as each other. So when they meet in the middle, this is going to be the width of the wave. And then, basically, the way this works is you just simply add the two waves to each other. So the way I would actually draw this is I have this... Um, height here, and then I have this um, other height here. I'm doing this a little bit more sophisticated than you would with just pen and paper. But So I have this height, and I have this height, and so my resultant wave is going to end up looking um, sorry, like this. So I'm going to end up getting this nice hump in the middle that goes like this. And that's what it's going to look like. It's a bad drawing, but you get the idea. Okay. Now, um, that is page three of the exam.